Hello, 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 and welcome to the, to the kitchen. I was trying to find somewhere quiet to make videos, so whilst the kids are playing Mario Kart 8, I thought I'd take refuge here amongst the beverage counter and the fridge freezer. Okay, let's see, granite colours, very nice. Oh yes, this is indeed the kitchen, and this is episode 250 of Proper Dreams. Today, if you haven't read the title or description, I'm talking about. Uh, let me if I can I do it. Back to front. Oh, that's clever. The boy, Mr. Peter Gabriel. Oh yes. But before we start, I'm going to hand you over to my good friend Darren, who who got this out of the box. You know, he unpackaged it. Oh yeah. So, before the kids make any more noise, I shall hand you over to Darren. Take it away, Darren. Hello, 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 and there's, look, there's Alex the Wonder Dog. Hey, look at him. But you, did, you didn't come here to look at Alex the Wonder Dog, did you? No, no siree. I'm going to move my camera, wobble, wobble, wobble. Oh, look at that, look at that grace and skill. Because I have a box, I have a box to show you. Oh, yes, indeedy. Um, here it is. I've put it upside down because it's one of those it's one of those fancy Amazon boxes, don't you know? Of course, other e-tailers are available. Come on, Swissy. Oh yeah, here we go. Hey, and with one flick of the wrist, the cellar tape is rendered in two. Oh, look at that skill, Alex. Keep it down over there, and um, we well, don't want to see that. And so here it is. This is it. It's upside down and indeed back to front. Oh, I'm, I'm getting good at this. Indeed, this is the deluxe edition. Why wouldn't it be? Um, let's uh, zoom in a bit. Let's, let's let's wobble the camera. That's better. You can see it better. Um, but yeah, so oh, it looks all rather rather fancy for there. Oh, looks here it is two Blu-ray, two CD set. Including all your favourites. I hope you, I hope you play Salisbury Hill. <laughs> um, oh blimey! Oh look, there's a little rip there. Oh god! If I was an anal retentive, I'd be very, very, very upset about that. Look, oh dear, ruined. But there you go. These are all the details, all the all the bits that you want to know about. Uh, and there's the track list. It's there's quite a lot of there's quite a lot of songs, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot there. Uh, so right, let's get this um, cellophane off, shall we? Yep, come on, Swissy. Do your magic. Let's listen. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is what you come for. And, um. Oh. 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 Every time it works. It works for me. Uh, <laughs> Let's have a look inside. Uh, as you can see, it follows a similar f format to his um, Live Blood uh, release, um, which was out of oh, a few years back now. And this is the first disc, this is the first Blu ray, which is the, I think it's the full concert. And this is the second Blu ray, which is the theatrical release. Yes. Uh. And this is the first audio CD. So it's the first half of the concert. That pant in the background is Alex, by the way. Not me. <laughs> and there's the last audio disc. Oh, dear. Uh, so let's um, yeah, zoom out a bit. There we go. We'll have a little look through the booklet, shall we? So we're live in London. This is filmed at the O2 in last October 2013. And, well, there's a picture for you, isn't there? There's, there's, there's one for the... There's one for the ladies. See, it's good to see their faces again, isn't it? And um, so we have a little, a little essay there. And there's Railway Studios there. And there's some more pictures of them there. You know, see, it follows very much like a similar format from the other, the other box set. But of course, you know, it's nice to see, see the band in action. Because this is, of course, this is the, um, this is the original band from 1986 Sauter. So um, yeah, it's quite unusual for Gabriel to go to go back in time like that. He's usually such a forward thinker, 
and you know somebody who looks forward it's it's quite unusual for him to be uh, uh, nostalgic in this in this fashion but you know let's hope let's hope he does the same with the uh, the Gen- genesis thing that's g- coming up on the bbc let's hope they let's hope they let us all wallow in a lovely bit of nostalgia and so yeah so you get an idea of what the concert looked like it looks like, like good fun uh, i shall enjoy watching the uh, blu-rays uh, do, 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 do. Yep, but yeah, I mean it's all very, it's very good quality print stock. You know, it's lovely, lovely bit of paper. You get your money's worth. It's you know, it's no no rubbish here from Mr. Gabriel. Lovely colours, you know, good separation. And um, well, again, you you come to expect this quality. I expect um, the the Blu-rays are the, are the same as well. I don't know. You know you do get a top quality product from Real World and Mr. Gabriel, so, uh, but yes, there we go. Well, part, except for that time with the the play thing where the, the, the DTS soundtrack was completely ballsed up, but he, he reissued a, a new one, which we should have all got a free one, shouldn't we, really? So, um, right, so there we go, that's the, there's all the details of who took part, and there's the, there they are, all looking rather old, all blind, they're all getting old, aren't we? Uh, so yeah, so I think that's it, isn't it? That that is indeed it, and uh, so we're at the end of the book there. So anyway, hopefully you've. Uh, I mean, well, why do that? Because eh? you got the details, and you got look, you got this flappy thing, just so you can get fingerprints all over it and crumpled up. I don't know. <laughs> moan, whinge, whinge, moan. Anyway, let's go back to the fatted. Well, I think you'll agree that was informative as ever. Um, yeah, this is a live set of obviously uh, from Gabriel's Back to Front tour last October, filmed at the O2. Um, this is the deluxe super duper edition. Might as well get get the rating out of the way. This earns five Daddy Long Legs out of five. That's five Daddy Long Legs out of five. In this edition, you get two Blu-rays, two audio. CDs and a download, a flak download from the Society of Sound, uh, 24-bit, which I haven't done yet, but I shall, I shall be having a go at. Um, yeah, you get two Blu-rays. Now, um, um, I didn't realise this because I wasn't paying attention. You get the full concert film and the theatrical film because this was released at the cinema. You go and actually sit and eat popcorn and get you know near people talking on their mobile phones behind you and. You know, like cinema is, and um, yeah, so you got a theatrical version and a and the actual full fat version. Um, the theatrical version uh, lacks. I'm counting here. Uh, mental arithmetic, down Mental arithmetic. Five songs. And um, what you get is you get little interviews in between each each song with the band. There's little kind of um, interviews. Uh, what I noticed is that um, David Rhodes. Looks looks a bit more like Vern Vern Troyer these days than anything else. But then don't we all? Um, and um, yeah, I thought it was a bit jarring having these um, these interviews. I mean, it's nice. It's a shame they didn't put them as a separate thing, you know, edited together, so you could watch just all the interview bits without. But, you know, I'm sure I could do that on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, so on the second disc you get that, the theatrical film, you also get a In Your Eyes DNA mash- mashup where they <laughs> skillfully edit together all the various filmed versions of In Your Eyes into one big lump and mess. <laughs> and there's also, this is the picture, the fan cam edition. I'll let you figure that one out. Um, yeah, I mean, they're all right. Um, uh, the main disc, though, the first disc of it is the full concert. Um, so you get the whole thing. There's also an interview on there with uh, Peter Gable and Rob Sinclair talking about how they developed the visuals for the whole concert. It was quite interesting because um, they used modified Xbox um, Kinect cameras for some of the digital effects, the live digital effects. I thought that was fascinating. Um, the concert itself, I mean, again, if you've bought any of Peter Gable's Blu-rays recently, you know they're very, very high quality. Um, I mean, it's like being there. The, the picture quality is superb, very well edited and put together. Um, 
again, if you didn't, haven't been to the concert, it's in three parts. There's like an acoustic section where they play some of the songs in a different arrangement, and there's a, a what Gabriel calls electronic version, and where they add various effects, you know, with drums and stuff. And then there's the full version of the Soul album in its entirety. That was the whole point of the tour was to play So in its entirety and celebrate 25 years of that album and you do indeed get that. Um, again with Peter Gabriel you do hear the same old songs over and over again like um, Salisbury Hill and uh, Sledgehammer you know um, but it, the acoustic um, part was quite interesting because some of the arrangements were, were different and yeah I, I thought it was an interesting way of approaching it. Um, also this band is different, he's gone back and used the old band from the 1986 um, Us, Us, <laughs> what am I saying, So Tour. Uh, so you've got from memory, he said David Sanchez on, on keyboards, Manu Kachi on drums, uh, David Rhodes, Tony Levin, uh, Peter Gabriel. And he's got a couple of backing singers who, uh, who are also eye candy and one plays the cello as well which is very good um i mean yeah i mean i thought of the concert was very good the sound the sound is absolutely fantastic in the old 5.1 very involving um you know people say oh you should have gone and seen it no i think i'll wait for the blu-ray um because it's much more comfortable to sit on the sofa and be a part of it <laughs> i don't like those big barns oh two you know just they're so uh they're so uh, impersonal, you know, the, but Gabriel does a good job filling it out. Um, preferred this to, to the, the live blood, you know, it was all strings. Now, I mean, that was good, that was good fun. Again, that was interesting arrangements, but this is more, this is more like it. And um, again, the set itself comes with an absolutely lovely deluxe booklet, which you've already seen. Lots of pictures, these interviews of why, the hows and whys of the tour and that. And again, you know, for, I think it was, Less than 40 quid. I think you know, it's a fair price for what you get. Um, not sure about the theatrical version. Again, two discs. Uh, they could have done something fancy with the Blu-ray and edited bits. You know, programmed it to. I don't know. They could have done something. I felt like it was. Um, you know, we could have got something else. Um, again, in terms of extras, it's a shame there weren't some other rehearsal footage or things like that. I'm just but I'm just I'm just moaning. I'm having a whinge. Uh, the audio disc, well again they, they they sound great, but again kind of flat after hearing everything in the 5.1. Haven't tried the flax yet to what download those from uh, Bowers and Wilkins Society of Sound website, uh, which should be interesting. Um but yeah I mean you know thoroughly thoroughly worth it and um Again, it's good to see the old the old man doing his thing over and over again. I do in, I do enjoy Mr. Gabriel's work, and um, you know he's, he's always he always um, does something interesting, like the tower, the giant erection at the end that swallows Mr. Gabriel. Very phallic it is indeed. <laughs> um, but yes, I mean I thoroughly recommend it. But then I'm utterly biased because my love for Peter Gabriel knows no end. Even, even well, he does. You know, he does actually follow me on the Twitters. That's good. That you know, and Mr. Gabriel follows me on the Twitter, so I still get excited thinking about that. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed um, Prog Review from the Kitchen. <laughs> um, next, it'll be the toilet, I guess. We've already well, no, we did one of those before, and you thought I was always I was actually on the crapper, and I wasn't. Uh, so I'm, well, I'll keep away from the carsy. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining in. Thanks for um, for thumbsing up and subscribing and all that stuff. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, keep your eye out. There'll be another one along soon in a minute. And that's it. My name's been Darren. Look, I've been talking about Back to Front by Mr. Peter Gabriel. And I love that embossed front. It's very, very, very snazzy. I mean, this is what you pay for. You know, your, your spot, your spot varnish. That's what you pay for. And um, and yeah, only one more thing to say, and you know what that is, don't you? Uh, you ready? Prog on.